Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We've hit kind of an exciting time in the game in that besides Namtar's lair, which I'm nowhere near ready to approach for some time, I think, we have a lot of, like, complete unknowns to hop into that we've never defeated and we've never tried before. It's pretty great. Like, the only thing we haven't defeated that we've tried is Namtar's lair right now. Uh, I believe we've defeated everything else that we've at least attempted once. So we've got a whole bunch of vicious dungeons we could actually go after. Uh, yeah, vicious Steel, which from what I understand is probably the easiest vicious dungeon. Namtar's Lair, which might be the, one of the hardest. We've got a, a Dragon Isles over here. We've got the Demonic Library up here. Naga City down here. It's all pretty crazy. But we've also got a couple of hard dungeons I've never even approached. Like... Uh, Grimm's Grotto and the Cursed Oasis, which I've, you know, I haven't even actually looked at those. I don't even know if I've ever mentioned that they exist. I may not even have noticed that they exist, but I've not beaten them, and I don't even think I've ever been to them. There's just never been in a quest demanding it. But not only that, we have a whole bunch of challenges. I've beaten every silver challenge I've tried now, though it's taken certainly multiple attempts, but there's a whole bunch of silver challenges left to go. Seems like every time I beat one of these, it's giving me a brand new item, which is exciting. There's there's some bronze challenges I haven't gone for yet, uh, just because I, I'm not good with the monk. That, that's the real reason. Um, but yeah, it's it's an exciting, exciting moment, and I think I'm going to celebrate it by doing exactly what I shouldn't do. I'm going to hop into a vicious dungeon run. Uh, I haven't decided which one. Let's uh, Let's... Head out to the adventure screen. We've got a lot of choices. Well, we could try Vicious Gauntlet, which is... Sorry, I did it again. The Vicious Gauntlet, which is uh, terrifying. This is probably, if I was to guess, the hardest dungeon in the game. Uh, from what people have told me. And it's called Dark Souls Prepare to Die, the quest for it. So, yeah, it's not going to be the easiest thing. And its reward is a ridiculous amount of gold. And uh, I can... I can understand why. We've also got the Demonic Library we're looking at. We've got Naga City we could go to. We've got uh, the Dragon Isles. And we've got Vicious Steel. I'm not going to include Namtar's Lair on this just because I've tried it before. Uh, so it's something I've seen before. So, interesting thing. The Dragon Isles, the Vicious Steel... And Naga City all have a quest that I believe, if I'm reading them right, unlocks a new class for us. Or a new race, or a combination of both. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm guessing this one unlocks snakes, this one, a Naga. This one unlocks a vampire, and this one unlocks a dragon. You can be a dragon, seriously? Half dragons, okay. Um, because those all have quests, I'm actually less interested in going to them. Just because I feel, I'll feel locked in if I actually manage to win one to continue going down that path. Whereas the Demonic Library has no quest attached to it whatsoever. Um, all I know is that the Arc Wizards of old, of the old Desert Empire played with Hellfire and their entire civilization suffered for it. Now benevolent beings, malevolent beings, seek to bring forth a world-destroying force. There's no quest here. Which is scary. Uh, there's no quest for Namtar's Lair either, which is one of the reasons I went for it. Um, so I want to try out the Demonic Library, see, see what that's like. Uh, yes, I'm going to hop right in here and, and see what we've got. Now, previously, my go-to for a new dungeon was the Halfling Priest. And that's still an awesome, awesome combination. But I don't feel... That that's what I want to do today. I'm going to go Wizard. The reason I'm going Wizard is because I got that Keg of Mana. And I want to use it. So I'm going to take the Keg of Mana with me. Which is a hilarious thing. It's three extra Mana Potions. Which uh, for an Elven Wizard. And I'm going to toss down extra Mana Boosters as well. Uh, what about Mysteria? Slows her piety gain by 25%. You know, I don't care about that. Let's uh, let's prep Mysteria as well. So that she's going to start out right next to us. So we can get extra magic right off the bat. Um, or instead of Kegamana, maybe I should go... 
instead of Elven Wizard with Kegamana, I should go Gnome? Nah. I'm going to go Elven Wizard with a Keg of Mana. That seems appropriate. So, yeah, Elf Wizard, Keg of Mana. Mystera. Oh, wow, every, the sort's gone. Uh, I'm going to actually prep a god, which is not something I normally do, but Mystera seems to fit here. Uh, I'm going to take Translocation Seal, which is something I rarely enough do, but I'm going to prep Elite Items uh, and kind of hope that a really good one shows up. Now I could also take like an alchemist scroll or something like that. This also gives plus the orb of Zot might be the best thing I could ever do, but uh, I'm not going to actually take it. I'm going to take this keg of mana. Um, I'm also going to take extra gold. The perseverance badge doesn't seem very important for the direction I'm going. Um, still going to take it, no doubt about that. But it just doesn't seem that important. Uh, okay. So what else we got? We got black market up here. We, we need black market up here. Okay, very good. And let's look up here. I don't think I want a health potion for once. Um, oh wow, I just got rid of my stuff. I do want the reflex potion. I do want the quicksilver potion. And I think I'm gonna get rid of the health potion and replace it with that uh, special item there. If, if I can click on it. It's not letting me click on it. I, I want it. Give it to me, yes, okay. So, we've got uh, our whole setup here, a whole bunch of mana potions, we're an elven wizard. I hope this works for us. I really, really do. But I don't know. Demonic Library. I'm going up against wizards with my wizard. Alright, let's play. All the mana in the world, I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Lots of mana potions, three extra, that's a lot of fireballs. that I think will ultimately save my butt. Okay, starting right next to this lady. Uh, she's a level one Naga. She has Weakening Blow, I don't like that. Um, she only got seven health, so I could kill her very easily, but why, kind of? That Keg of Mana is gonna get used pretty quickly. Okay, what is this? Death Protection two and Berserks at 50%. Uh, I can bring him down to eight. I can go ahead and get rid of one of his death protections right now, right now. So no reason not to. Hit. Fireball. And fireball. And one of his death protections. And he gets weaker, which is nice. All right. So I'm going to head down to this shop and see what's in it. Is he blocking my way to Mystera? Yes, he is. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh... This place has a spoon, which might be fantastic for me. I'll go ahead and buy it. Uh, worst case scenario, I lose because of, I, of doing that. There is an end is wall right here, which is fantastic. And I'm back to full health, which means time to kill this dude again. Uh, one hit. One fireball. Very nice. Another fireball should kill him off, actually. And yay for that. Okay. So no negatives. There's a, a dude I can take. And look. I believe we have a, a hidden sub-dungeon here, which is fantastic. Is this Mysterio right up here? It is. I should go ahead and worship her. I hope not everyone's magic attack here, because that's going to be a problem. Uh, should I worship Mysterio first, or should I just come up here first? I think I'll worship Mysterio first. So, here we go. Worship. Begin serving her. Uh, I could gain one max MP immediately, which is awesome. Refreshment is awesome. Flames is awesome. Mr. Bat All this stuff is great, basically. All right, I'm going to leave just in case of incurring her wrath or something. But I'm going to come down here, cast Indus Wall, and... Oh, I, I, can't, I can't break that. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, I will grab this then and start heading towards glyphs. Now what are you? You have magic attack, I assume. No, you're cowardly and you revive, but you don't have magic attack. Uh, so I can kill you without Mysterio getting angry at me, which is fantastic. Uh, you're kind of blocking my path a little bit. My path is never truly blocked, is it? I'm gonna head towards this way and get, uh, get that question mark right there, which I'm su sure is a glyph. A feel sick. Certainly I'll take that. Don't know if it's the best thing, don't know if it's the worst thing, but it's my thing. And I'll grab this as well. I should be casting Indus Wall every time I move here for many, many reasons. 
just like that. Okay. And grab up this attack booster, which is fantastic. Grab up this mana potion, which is uh, not going to be redundant at all, because I'm going to have many, many of them. I feel like that will probably be the crux of this run. If I can get my mana really, really, really high, these mana potions are going to be amazing. All right. So I'm back to full mana, which means I should just cast... What cost less? Fireballs cost five, and Enda's Wall cost five. So it makes no difference. Um, I'm going to be casting Fireball, Enda's Wall then, uh, whenever I move around, just to keep Mysteria happy. So I'm going to grab that gold. Biceps is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to pick it up immediately. And is that Pact Maker up there? Could be Pact Maker. I might want a Pact, actually. Yep, that is Pact Maker. Uh, considering that I have such an easy way of getting piety, you know, Pact Maker could be excellent. And there's one of my Mana Boosters as well. I'm looking for a level 2 enemy, by the way, that I can actually hurt or kill or something. So what Pact do I want? Scholar's Pact, uh, Biceps, uh, and Overheal every time I level up. Starting at level 1, that's pretty good. Warrior's Pact, uh, plus 1 max health at the cost of 3 piety every time an XP valuable enemy dies. That could be incredible. Alchemist Pact, uh, plus 3 experience every time you drink a potion. Uh, plus 1 resistances every time I get hit. Uh, Spirit Pact, every time you convert an item. 15 bonus conversion at the cost of 5 people. That might be great, actually. I might go for the Spirit Pact and just build on this idea of just a ridiculous amount of mana. Um, either that or the Scholar's Pact. Or the Warrior's Pact. Oh, they're also good! Plus 1 health for th 3 piety every time I kill someone. I'm going to go for the Spirit Pact. That's what I want to do. That's a conversion bonus. It's easy to control, so I can always make sure I have enough and in all honesty, uh, it could be quite fantastic. So I'm going to cast this. Oh, not that. that. That was a fireball. Didn't mean to cast a fireball. I'm going to cast this. Nice little end this wall here. Grab that. Uh, there's a shop to check out, which is great. The Avatar will return. You are too weak to stop us. Regards. Oh my gosh. Paravulcan Paw? Jeez. Okay. Clicking to continue. What are your crate... 222 health, uh, physical resist 50%, and weakening blow. I am the ideal person to kill you. I'm glad I chose wizard. Okay. Um, let's go over here and be casting this as we explore. We're looking for a level 2 enemy to kill, and we have not run across him. Head down here is a level 5 enemy. Uh, he does 35 damage. It's way too much. Let's continue on then. Over here, some health potion stuff. I want to, let's see, where do I want to use my ability here? Uh, up here, probably, just to get the extra piety when I move there, I suppose. Uh, we can grab this health potion, that's certainly valuable. Pick it up. Um, yes, magic use is a huge thing. I could easily get more mana right now. And I'm going to head towards my other glyph while I'm searching for an enemy to fight. So there's a level 1, not my favorite idea to fight him. But I will continue casting spells to move around. Um, hmm. Yep, I cast a spell here as well. Just keep it going. And it looks like it only actually costs a little bit to... Uh, Alright, I'll go down here and cast in his wall right here. I've got like 11 stacks of stone right now. But it's okay because Mysteria loves us. And I can't seem to find an enemy, in all honesty. It's kind of a, an issue. I'm going to go over here. Actually, I can go here. And here's a spot where I should probably cast just to get that extra piety. Later, as necessary. And I can go over here, and I'm a wall. Fantastic. Oh, I like my glyph selection right now. I'm going to pick that up for sure. Now, what do I want to do here? I've got 11 layers of... 13 layers of stone. I might want to start casting fireball instead. Uh, you don't have Retaliate Fireball, do you? No. I, I want to cast it on someone who, you know, won't die from it. And it won't affect them very much. I guess I could just cast it on this guy. Uh, he Berserks at 50%, but I'm not going to take him anywhere near 50. 
So there's a couple. There's a fireball. It's just a, a way to get rid of my excess mana as I'm exploring, uh, and make Mysterio love me more. Level threes. Um, how much damage do they do? Twenty three. Not really something I can handle at the moment. It's a bit unfortunate, but uh, level threes are out of my reach. Oh, there's 16 damage, but he, and he mana burns. Definitely not going to go after that. Uh, an extra mana is fantastic. Um, let's cast a fireball on this guy before I continue exploring, just to make Mysterio love me some more. And continue going down this way. I will end his wall here. Uh, excellent. I can go right here for a piss orf cliff. Okay, pick that up right away. I need to find another level 2 enemy, that's for sure. I've got all the glyphs, though, which is great. Uh, check right here. Is there no way in there? Maybe that's something like with Namtar. I don't know. Uh, I don't really feel the need to level up right now is the thing. I mean, I, I suppose I could get a couple fireballs off on this guy, level up, get a couple more fireballs on this guy, but I, I still wouldn't be able to hit him is the thing. So it doesn't really help. Um, let's check out Mystera. Worship. And let's get uh, a couple of magics going. One. And two magics. That puts us at 14 mana, which is pretty good. One more, would cost 45, would be pretty fantastic. Um, don't really know which way to explore, though. Alright, there's another mana. Perfect. That puts me at 15. I can cast Fireball three times or end his wall a million times before it actually has an... Oh, I might actually be able to take a death protection off this dude. Um, what about this one? What about this one? 23 health. It's not the best. How, how much is my fireballs doing to him? Less. I can hit him though. I can hit him once. I might be able to hurt this guy. Oh, I, I could hit him because of all the Ender's Walls. That's why. I won't be able to take a Death Protection off, though. Uh, even with the three Fireballs, I don't think this is going to work out. Now, he does 24 damage. And one more Fireball. And we'll take off a Death Protection. Very nice. I took one off. Okay. Uh, now he only does 20 damage, so I suppose if I continue exploring like I have been and not running into a level 2, I can eventually kill him. Uh, I'll be, I'll have to, of course, cast Indus Wall three times in the meantime to make that happen. So pick up health potions as I see them, I suppose. Uh, there we go. Pretty easy enemies, actually, as far as they go. Um, let's grab that money. And that puts me at 15, so I may as well cast that there. And I'll cast this here. Yep, 26, and I'll cast uh, another one. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. I guess I'll cast it here. Yep. So I can tank a hit from you again, my friend, and I can fireball you again. So <laughs> I, I guess um, I'm going after a level 3 instead of a level 2. It's wasteful. It's taking up a whole lot of resources. And I should have been doing it earlier, I suppose. Oh, there's a, there's a second boss. That's kind of scary. Uh, but it's, it's what I'm going to have to do here. Since no level 2s are showing up. So I'll take these two more tiles. And come after this guy. Again. So hit. And get my three fireballs off. Yes. Yes. And again, now I could, if I could take a hit from someone without killing them, uh, set off burning. But if I, if I hit her, for instance, it levels me up. So it's an unfortunate situation. Uh, I can't really survive a hit from anyone that won't kill them. So I guess I have to do it all again. You only do 18 damage now. So continue my explorations like this. And I just need to end his wall barely enough to survive a hit. So I'm trying to be efficient now. Can I survive a hit? I can. So I just need my three fireballs. And I may as well see who the other boss is. Uh, the avatar will turn. Be still, be dead. Missostalpa? Alright. 
So let's look at you, 222 health. Mana burn, curse bearer, death gaze, 100%. Another guy I'm gonna have to fireball to death, most likely. All right, now grab these three tiles and kill this level three right here. All right, yes I can. Hit, fireball. Oh, he's just gonna lose a death protection is all that's gonna happen, actually. Fireball. And fireball. And all he does is lose a death protection. That's nuts. Um, I just need where I can take a hit from him again, I suppose. Uh, can I? How much damage is he doing now? 10? I can probably kill him from here. One hit, one fireball is not enough. I need three fireballs to make it happen. All right, I've ex wasted so much exploration, I feel. But uh, in the name of good, I suppose, I'll go here and we'll finish this dude off. So hit and get my last three fireballs and go up to level two, finally. And one more for the win. Very nice. I'm level two. I'm almost level three. I mean, it almost makes up for it, but not really. Uh, level two me might be able to go after level four. I can safely hit him. Brings him down to 28. Uh, how much are my fireballs doing? Eight each. Uh, he would have four extra damage. Hmm. If I could increase my attack damage a little bit by four. A... Uh, a nice shop item would, would change things. Physical resistance might be a very nice get here. But uh, I don't want to go after him yet, just because I think I'd be one damage short of killing him, and that's depressing. Uh, anything Mysteria can offer. Flames would actually make it where I could kill him, I think. Uh, my damage bonus would go down by 50%. So, ultimately, I would, I would weaken quite a bit. However, since I am mainly relying on fireballs, 50% less damage. I would, I would be da down to my base damage, essentially. I'd be down to 10 damage. I would lose 5 damage. How much would I gain? Not 5 damage. I'd gain like 3 damage. No, I'd, I'd gain 4. Um, I think. I don't really know. It's, it's an extra 1 per level, right? I'll worship. Flames is one per character level, so I'd lose five or six damage and I'd gain about six damage as well. That's worth it if I can get to where I can cast Fireball more. In the meantime, I should go after level threes. So what are your abilities? You got Mana Burn, you're Poisonous, you're Undead, and you're Bloodless. I'm going to take back what I said about easy enemies. Uh, what about you? Can't even survive a hit from you. And let me guess, Retaliate Fireball. Okay, how many Fireballs would it take to murder you? my friend. Uh, four. So, I can kill you, and I'm going to, to level up. Fireball. 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 Brings you down to nine. I can hit you once, take all kinds of horrible status effects, but I level up. So I'm level three. Fantastic. What's this ability? Spirit Pact. Uh, yes, extra conversion. That's going to be very valuable later. Okay. These guys do physical damage, right? They do, but they're curse bearers. He's a curse bearer. Is this guy a curse bearer? No, he's just got weakening. Okay. Level 3 me can probably take out these level 4s pretty easily. So let's get that going. Uh, can I tank a hit from them? I can, which means I can just straight murder them. They're cowardly and they revive, which is scary. But, uh... Hopefully they offer some experience in the meantime. Do they become zombies? Is that what's going to happen? I remember what one place does that. Uh, so I get a little bit of experience for doing that, but not much. Or maybe I didn't get any experience for that. And he became a level 3. So that's not worth it. Alright, don't go after those guys. Uh, pick up Mana Potion. A lower level zombie is not what I was looking for there. Uh, explore a little bit. There's another boss. I'm not liking the number of bosses I've, I've got to deal with here. Uh, I don't want to waste the exploration. Is there an enemy I can go after here? This guy, he's got five la layers of death protection. He'll have 26 health left. How much am I doing with my fireballs? Uh, 12. 
Man. All right. I can probably do this. Uh, if only they were doing a tiny bit more. I'm I'm so tempted to take flames. I'm going to take flames. That's that's not the that's not the correct solution. I need to increase my damage slightly some other way. Um I suppose poisoning is something I should be casting as well. That would probably help quite a bit against a lot. Oh, I, I completely ignore biceps. Now it will take you down to what twenty one. Oh, that's perfect. All right, I can kill you easily, my friend. All right, so now I can hit you once, which takes you down to twenty one. Then I can fireball you all three times, which uh, will layer on the pain, but it'll get rid of a couple of your death protections. Yes, and one more fireball. Perfect. Very nice. And he's down to 37 damage, which is good for me. I can just go down here and over here. Man, I'm really not liking some of this situation. All right, over here we go. Okay. Why is there only one shop? Are they all, like, bunched together? Let's go ahead and cast biceps. Uh, can I take a hit from this guy? Yes. I'm not exactly sure why. I, oh yeah, he's, he has reduced damage at the point where he's at now. Uh, I need to get my fireballs to max though. Or I think I do. Do I really? I don't, do I? Because that takes him down to 12. I guess his max hit points decreased? Um, that's fine. Having max fireballs will make this easier. So I'll go here. Oh good, another shot. There's another boss! Oh my godness. All right, sorry about that. I'm just freaking out. All right, here. Fireball. One. Okay, so I should have uh, perhaps saved that exploration then if it's going to leave him with one. And this will take him down to one death protection. And if I'm willing to kill a level one enemy, like her, yeah, and I'll just win. That'll take out his last death protection. Yes. Um, now he's just enraged, but that's fine. I can kill him real easy. So I'm going to go to the shop and find my new boss. The avatar will return and you shall feel the pain of crossing me. Another boss. This one has retaliate fireball, which is a big, big problem. Okay, what's in my shop though? Fine sword. Buy. That's still kind of an auto buy. Um, yes, I'm, I'm glad I have it. All right. So I'm going to explore a tiny bit here. Just going to get enough where I can kill my friend over there, who is level 5. Uh, I could probably do it right now. Yep, pretty easily. One hit, and then a fireball, or two. And it doesn't quite level me up, but that's fine. Lots of exploration wasted doing that, but uh, I still feel kind of okay about that whole situation. Now you have death gaze 50%, and you do 25 damage. You also have Weakening Blow. I'm not a fan of Weakening Blow at all. Um, if I had Get In There or something, you would be a better target. What about you? Yeah, you don't really offer anything good. And you are a pain in the butt. Alright, these guys are all quite, kind of annoying enemies, to be honest. Let's uh, continue exploring. Maybe this shop will hold all the answers, pinned into mana. That's not all the answers. I'm going to cast Biceps while I'm traveling around. But it is certainly an answer. I'm not sure the question though. Uh, this golem right here might be a good target. He's a curse bearer, but that doesn't affect me much. He'll have 49 left after I hit him. But how much are my fireballs doing? Uh, where where are my fireballs? At 12 each, 36. I could probably regen fight this dude using a feel sick. Uh, that's what I'm going to try and do. So, with biceps for my first attack, I'm going to take a, a little bit of a curse and down to one health as well, which is not the best. But, going to get a couple fireballs out. Yep, actually cast it, please. Thank you. And 23. And now I will feel sick him, which will give me seven tiles of exploration. Um... Let's see if that's good enough. And there's another boss up here. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of bosses. Alright. 
and I'm gonna go here. And what's up with this boss? Magic resist and corrosive. So he's my friend indeed. Uh, 35 damage. He's poisoned for one more tile. So I'll take it. And then I will poison him again, actually. Uh, another layer of poisoning. Just to give me eight more tiles. If I can fully heal, that would be fantastic. Um, oh, I should have grabbed this long ago. And I can hit him for the win and be cursed. Yeah, that's how the cookie crumbles. Levels me up, so I'm kind of happy. Curses don't make a real big difference to me right now. Uh, at my new level, I'm doing what? Burn Jeremy's for 16 damage. Okay. Who can I go after? Can I go after you, Mr. Blinky Man? No, you do 58 damage. Can I go after you, Mr. Blinky Man? Yes. Yes, I can. Please don't blink somewhere I can't reach. Thank you for being a jerk. Alright, fair enough. I will explore a bit. How about this golem? Uh, I've already gone after one golem. Why not two? Physical resist, curse bearer, it's the same deal. As long as I have enough exploration to do it, I can probably do it. Uh, and one thing to kind of make that happen, I'm going to cast End His Wall here. To open this area up a bit. And go right there. And uh, grab this one exploration here. There. Now I'll go after Mr. Level 6. Can I hit you at least? Yes. Alright, one hit. Want to feel sick? Yep, just actually cast it, please. And a couple fireballs later, which will bring it up to eight tiles. Uh, maybe I should do two of feel six, just to make this all easier. There we go. So now I've got 16 tiles of exploration I can do. How much damage is he doing? Pretty much all but six of my health, but uh, making sure 46. Okay. And here's a shop, which is fantastic. Uh, bloody Sigil. Less fantastic than I had hoped. Alright, 46 is exactly how much I have, so let's go up here and hit this guy one more time. Then a couple fireballs later, he should be dead. Yep, one hit. And a couple fireballs. And that's a win. All right, I'm working up in power, but pretty soon I'm going to have to think about killing these guys. Oh, I need to get some Mysteriness going. All right, worship. Mysteria for refreshment. Refreshment's an awesome ability that I would be silly not to get. Um, what's Mystic Balance do? I don't want things increased. Uh, what's Weakening do? Magic Resistance. Uh, weakening reduces my magic resistance as well, but I don't have any. Uh, and I'm cursed to the wazoo anyway. Flames is eventually going to be my thing, I think. I can cast magic? I have 45 exactly. Uh, but maybe later. Not at the moment. Alright, so continuing on, let's heal up. We've got our three fireballs going. No shops have been incredibly valuable to us, which is very unfortunate. There's another boss? Are we being serious right now with me? Alright, I can go over here because I just noticed this. Probably a secret sub dungeon, which would be very nice. Haven't run across any sub dungeons yet. Yes, this is a secret sub dungeon, which is fantastic. Uh, while I head there, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. The Avatar will return. Attempt to stop the prophecy. I shall turn your blood into venom. Yay. Biceps. And then here will bring me up to 16. What are you? You have Poisonous, Magical Attack, and First Strike. Ugh, I can't take damage from any of these guys. They just get, this one has 222 health. It's not time to approach fighting them yet. Alright, so... You're probably my best target. Uh, lots of death protection on you. How much am I doing per fireball? Is it 20 even? No, it's 16. I could bring it up to 20 even, I suppose. Or significantly more than that, actually. Maybe it is time for me to get flames. Uh, I am mainly going at things with fireballs. That's like my modus operandi here. I wish Battle Mage Ring would just show up. That's what I wish. Alright, but we can't all get our hopes and dreams. Now can we? 
Uh, I could use magic again, but it doesn't seem like the best option. Weakening doesn't seem like the best option. Let's let's go ahead and get flames. I like flames. Um, because that brings me up to what? 20 damage. So it's one per character level. But I can do 60 damage with my fireballs. Which I kind of like. Uh, I think ultimately it's very similar. But when I get later, that's going to be very useful. So two fireballs. And hopefully a sub-dungeon that offers me a whole bunch of uh, exploration opportunities. And another fireball to get rid of another layer of death protection. Very nice. What would be great against this guy is a feel sick, and I'm dumb for not using it. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go up here. And over here as well. I should check out this sub-dungeon. How much damage does he do before I, I go down here? 50? So I need to be at full health. That's fine. Oh, look! Exploration. That's wonderful. 42. Hello, I am Good Glenric the Warlord. It is nice to meet you. Please ignore the helmet. I really am a warlord. I hope you don't kill me for my awesome experience points. I'm so going to kill you for your awesome experience points. Good Glenric. But not right now. I'm in the middle of a fight right now. Uh, and I don't need the level up. I'm going to use you for a level up kill to kind of skyrock me to fame and glory though there, Glenric. Um, Alright, so one hit. And two fireballs later, he's going to lose a death protection. Yes. And he's down to three. And he's only doing 43 damage. Any more exploration down here? I'm running out fast, actually. Uh, yes, there is, which is fantastic. All right, let's 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 go full heals. Uh, or at least that much heals. Because a, a, an attack is also a significant part of my strategy here. Hmm. Yeah. Two fireballs later, and he will have one less death protection. Suppose I could attack Glenric and get rid of one of his death protections as well. All right, and back to Glenric. Go and head this way. Thirty-five. Yes, we all love your 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 dungeon here, Glenric. This is actually a fantastic sub dungeon. I wish I had known it existed way earlier. Um, here we go. We can kill that. I don't know why I refer to that as killing. But we'll he'll hit him. We can actually hit him again now, which is great. And we can finish him off with fireballs. Because every fireball is a death protection gone. And here is our level up. Very, very nice. Now, how many experience points does Glenric give us right now? I'm thinking eight. Uh, it speaks from 5 to 13, so yes, 8. I need to get myself, and he does 9 damage. Alright, fantastic. I need to get myself within 8 of leveling up. Um, I probably want to take on one of these bosses, to be honest. There's so many of them. If I manage to kill one now, it's so early. But uh, if I manage to kill one now, it's a pretty fantastic situation for me. I'm doing 25 damage per fireball. Uh, yes. And I can cast three times. So that would be like... It's 75 per full heals. It's 150 of his 222 health. Uh, so I, I could kill him at level 6 using mana potions. And that's probably what I'm going to do. So I have plenty of mana potions. I wish I had better other items. Pendant of Mana might be worth it right now. Yes, actually it is worth it because I'm going to do this. I'm going to go up to Mystera, Worship, and Magic. That was worth it because that's another Fireball. So now I've got four Fireballs. It's 100 damage uh, and like one Health Potion will kill him. One Mana Potion will kill him. Which is fantastic. I just need to get close to leveling up. Um, and I can do that with her. Miss Death Gaze, Miss Weakening Blow. No, not with her. She's got Weakening Blow. Um, with who then? This guy. Probably just blink somewhere to be annoying. But uh, I can do more than 75 damage with my fireballs, so as long as he doesn't actually blink somewhere to be annoying, 
He's an easy kill. And then fireball away. One. Of course he did that. Is he right there? Um, two. The burning damage might kill him, though. And... Yes, win. Three. Very nice. All right, 16 of 25. Uh, Glenric. Glenric. I don't think that you can actually do this. I think you bring me to 24, don't you? Uh... Yes, Glenric brings me to 24, so I'll just kill him. Fantastic. Go. That worked out pretty perfectly. I just need to heal up first. Oh, and there's another shop here that I, I don't think I've looked at. Dwarven Gauntlets. No. Yes. Plus 20% damage. Uh, no. I'm not going to use it. So I just need to heal up. I'm going to use Enda's Wall here to get access past this way. Um, and I need full mana. Who is this? Is this Binlor? It's probably not Binlor. No, this is Tiki Tuki. I wish I knew what all the gods' punishments were, but I don't. 16 of 20. I want my full 20 of 20. 18 of 20, and there we go. Now, I can't get a hit off on this guy. He's got Weakening Blow anyway, so I don't really want to. Wait a minute. Let's decide. There's five of these dudes and they all have the same amount of health so which one should I kill uh, magic resist 50% obviously no um, poisonous magical attack and first strike no I don't think so uh, death gaze 100% mana burn and curse bearer no I don't think it really makes a difference which one I go after I could use Enda's wall and actually tank a hit from one of them, but it would waste so much exploration. I think I'd rather just use the mana potion. So let's start this this whole fiasco. So your physical resist fifty percent. I'm not going to be using any physical physical attacks against you. And I'm going to fireball you until you cry. Yes, 110 life is what you have left. Now I'm going to kill this dude. I might not even need a Mana Potion here. Uh, this wind will level me up. Because I now do like 30 damage per Fireball, right? Yes. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, I shouldn't actually need a Mana Potion to kill this guy off. That's fantastic. Okay. And one more for the win. All right. Did those guys just get weaker or stronger? Uh, I just saw them all flash. 222 corrosive. No, oh, they get death protections. Okay, he got a death protection. No one else got a death protection. Uh, curse bearer. And okay, dude got a death protection. That's not the best. What I want to do now is take that. I have tons of money up at the end of this and start doing this get my mana up because I'm going to kill that dude with his death protection um, I don't want anyone building up multiple oh here's a sub dungeon let's go and check it out exploration yes please all right and we're at 18 19 and 20 okay Perfect. I can kill another one of these guys, and specifically, I can take this guy's death protection out. So, I will do that. Uh, right here. Come on, move. And fireballs. No, you've got magic resists. Oh, crap. He's got magic resists. I don't want him building up death protections. It's going to take me twice as many fireballs to kill him as anybody else. But it's worth it if no one else is going to be building up death protections. Okay, I'm willing to do this still. I'm willing to make this guy my target. Even though he's going to take twice as much to do. Mainly because of those death protections. I don't want them building up. Uh, if he is the only one that gets that, I am totally cool. Uh, I think I can actually deal with that. 
Let's kill this dude. Take my curse. Kill. No, you don't actually give me anything, do you? Uh, kill this dude. No, it's safe. Actually, yeah, I can just kill you because it's not a big deal to take damage. And that levels me up and gets me all my stuff back. Excellent. Still can't hit him. Well, actually, I could hit him once for 36 damage with a single... No, I've got curse stack. If I got rid of my curse stack, I could kill him once. So let's do that. Um, so I can win this fight, which gets rid of my curse stack. And then I can cast End as Wall once. Yes. Which will allow me to hit him normal once, right? I get corroded for doing it, but it does a significant amount of damage uh, compared to my fireballs. So that's good. I'll do that as necessary. So three fireballs later. And one. Very nice. Okay. So I've got 59 to deal with. What I might want to do here to make this as minimal as possible is use this combination, Reflex Potion, Quicksilver Potion. Um, there's seriously, I don't, okay, I do have health potions. And that might just uh, make it where I don't take that corrosiveness. I hope. Yes, takes him down to 23 and I don't take any corrosive damage. Very nice. Uh, and I can just kill him and take one level of corrosion. I don't think that's too bad if I can keep a mana potion. Uh, if I had cast biceps at some point, that would have totally fixed this situation. But whatever, it's too late now. Let's take one level of corrosion and not be too upset about it. Right. I forgot. He has death protection. So I am going to use a mana potion anyway to get rid of it. I should have used a fireball that last time, but I didn't. It's fine. Fireball, and he's dead, and let's hope no one else gets a death protection. Watching the screen, this guy got one. Okay, so there's no way to avoid the mass death protections. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Did I just take another level of corrosion? I did. Crap. Um, Alright, I did not expect that. Uh, should I kill the other ones, or is it better just to stick with what I'm doing here? I think I'm just going to stick with what I'm doing here. I'm going to kill the one with the death protection on it. Uh, because I think that's a better option. Oh, I've still got exploration up here, I believe. And yes, I do. So that's 20. Go back up here. Alright, one death protection is not too much to deal with, actually. So I need to get close to leveling up. Nope. I don't want to deal with a weakening blow. I don't want to deal with him at all. Uh, don't want to deal with her either. We Leveling up is getting harder. I will say that. Um, having that level up just ready would be nice. Amulet of Yendor could save me. <gasps> Amulet of Yendor! I, I said it and it appeared. Wow. Okay, I didn't, did I not check out these two shops? Kega Health! Wow. All right. So I'm going to use this keg of mana. And then I'm going to use this scroll, translocation seal, and grab the amulet of Yendor. If I can get away with it, I'm not going to use that amulet of Yendor. Because I would like to take that back with me for my locker. But I don't think I can get away with it. I think I'm going to end up using it at some point. And I, I'm actually kind of cool with that. So, what did I, I've got... Is there anything else I can get from Mysterio, really? I've got flames already. Uh, weakening. I, I suppose I could use that on that other guy. Uh, Mystic Balance I don't want, really. Magic would take 65 and is unnecessary at this point. So I'm just going to leave. Um, I might want to switch to a different god for bonuses after I get really high. Like I, I might switch to Tiki over here. Uh, but that's not necessarily going to happen. I might just stick with Mysterio. She's kind of kept me this far. <sighs> this guy's got Retaliate Fireball, which is not the best. All right, I need to get close to leveling up, and I don't see an easy way to do that. 
Um, like everything damages me, really. I can kill that guy, but he just revives as that guy, which is a level lower. It's a pain in the butt. I'm going to kill this guy. Um, safe, but he doesn't level me. Alright, I'm going to kill you. For a level 3 kill is all I get out of this, and it injures me. I'm really hating these, these enemies. Uh, you will die. I suppose I could go after higher level enemies. Uh, I get take a curse. I didn't take another level of corrosion there, did I? All right, I need five more experience here. Uh, and a way to access it. So, yep. Do my exploration diligence. Um, hmm. Where can I get five more? Do you come back to life? As a level zero or something? No, you're... Okay, you're level one. I'll kill these off. I still do have some exploration. Uh, that's three experience I can get. Do you have a death protection? You do. Um, so I'll, I will hit you. Just get rid of your death protection. So you don't anymore. And you, I can just kill. So one, two, uh, I can cast end his wall. He has retaliate fireball. So what I want to do is not do a regular attack against him. Three. Uh, this will be four. And now I'm going to go after this boss with a death protection on him. So I don't want to deal with somebody that has two death protections. This might be the absolute wrong way to do this. Maybe I should go after one of these other guys. Uh... Mana burn, curse bearer, death gaze, uh, magical attack, first strike, poisonous. None of this actually matters. Uh, I'm going to go after one of these other guys. And I have reasoning behind this that may be obvious or may be just dumb. Uh, death. Well, I can do this as well. I can end his wall here. So I could hit one of these. No, he still does too much. Do I have a curse stack on me or something? Uh, that was just a foolish mistake then. I will go up here, go, and check out a little bit more of my exploration. Uh, hopefully there's enough. 18 of 20, 20 of 20. Very nice. And I will go back. Okay. So I'm going to kill a non-death protection dude. Um, I don't have a curse stack. I feel like I should be able to tank one hit. And the one hit that I can tank, how much damage do I do normally? It's 36, and this is 35. It doesn't actually make a difference. Okay, fair enough. Um, if I knew there was more, though, it would be worth it. So it is one more damage. And it still doesn't work. Oh, he has magical attack. So I can take a hit from this guy, though. Uh, yes. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to go back up here, get my mana back, go. Hopefully there's enough. Yeah, there's lots of exploration up here, which is fantastic because I need it. Go. And let's go after this guy. So I can hit him once and take a curse after I fireball him several times. So one, two, three... I almost hit him first, by the way, uh, without paying attention to the mana burn, but I didn't do it. You should be proud of me. All right, and I'll kill this dude, which puts me at level 8. I should be doing like 40 damage per fireball now. Um, and I can get my fireballs off. One and two. And see what happens with death protections. This guy gets another layer of it. All right, that's not too bad to deal with because I get I, what two mana potions will deal with two layers of death protection, just will. Um, all right, let's go up here and explore as we can. I want to know what's at the end of this as well, so it's it's not just wasted time. All right, that gold looks mighty tempting. Maybe it's safe to take. I'm not taking that gold yet. <laughs> that's just scary. Uh, maybe after I'm level 10 and lots of things have happened, 
No, I'm not taking that goal. I'm not risking this over something that says that. I do need one more exploration, which is right here. I That is an unknown sub-dungeon that I am scared of. Just And I've got plenty of gold right now. Uh-uh. So, poisonous magical attack first strike. Uh, I do need to get close to leveling up first. Can I take you out in one hit? No. Can I take you out in one hit? No. Oh, this is... Yeah, I've got like 100 gold. I need to get close to leveling up. The Amulet of Yindor can be my level up for my last guy, or I might just use uh, not that. Um, I can kill you without taking any damage. That's fine. Anyone else? I'm really short on it. There's not really a lot of exploration either. But it's more important that I be close to leveling up than high on health, To be as a matter of fact. And... Uh, that might just have to be how I approach this. So, her. Can I hit her? Uh, her I can hit. So, I'm going to take a weakening when I do that. But it's actually fine. I'm not really using my regular attack so much. Hmm. This is a problem. I don't think I can get another natural level up here. Um... Actually, I can use health potions to do this, and that might be a proper use for them. So, take out this level 7 guy, for instance, with health potions. And that will put me at 30. Um, then I can kill this level 6, probably. Oh, this is really hard. Alright, so, let's use health potions, because I'm mainly using mana for everything else and kill this dude uh... yes a health potion how much damage is he doing fifty eight okay so one health potion is enough uh-huh and a hit and a dead dude which is fantastic that's me at thirty uh... i can go to thirty three thirty six and 37. This is a pain. How much damage do you do? 35, but I have to hit you so many times. Alright, I'm going to go up here. And see if there's more exploration that I can get without taking that gold. So I'm going to do this. Oh, there's lots. Okay. I shouldn't have been taking those health potions then. should just be using the massive amount of exploration up here. Okay. That makes this easier, and let's go. So I will kill this guy, and be cursed as a result, of course. There was no other way. Uh, I'm going to win, which puts me at 35. Can I kill you in one hit? Yes, so you'll be the guy that I level up using. One hit on you, on the other hand, and win. Very nice. All right, so I can you level me up. Uh... So I can get my fireballs off on this guy. Let's do that. Fireball out the wazoo here. Yep, do it again. And one more time, which puts me at 50. And then I will kill you. And I will fireball this guy again for a win. Very, very nice. And more gold. Lots of gold. No complaints about the gold. All right. So I will go back down there and explore and get uh, hopefully five more mana and go after my last opponent here. I might be able to win this. Uh, that staircase down kind of terrifies me, but uh, I might be able to win this. All right. So you. I can hit you, which is crazy. But you have Retaliate Fireball, so I don't want to deal with that. Uh, you don't do too bad. And I have health potions as necessary. Oh, I don't have health potions as necessary. Yes, I do, actually. I pretend not to have health potions as necessary, but I do. Because I can get rid of this fine sword and grab up a keg of health. So, yeah, I can heal up. Alright, so this isn't bad. I will fireball you to death, sir. Fireball. 
And they only do half damage with their retaliate fireballs, which is good. Fireball. And I need this, which will hopefully allow another fireball. Nope, that's death. Um, interesting. Okay. So I will go over here. Um, what am I going to do here? I'm going to move biceps. Come on. Come on, biceps, move. It's not letting me pick things up sometimes. All right. Click and hold. Then drag. There you go. Go up here, biceps. Then I will move I'm a wall, which is great. Should have been I'm a walling a long time ago, but whatever. I'm going to grab up a keg of health. Bye. Now use. And I have all kinds of health. Perfect. I should have paid attention to the fact that this guy has Retaliate Fireball long ago. All right, and I will come back and get my Fireballs going. Fireball. Fire it's Retaliate Fireball has been my bane for a lot of this game. Uh, health Potion. Fireball. But I will not let it be the reason I lose. And... I can just convert something, uh, Pissor for instance, uh, since I'm not using it, which gives me extra mana, gives me extra conversion points, gives me all kinds of stuff. I really like that. And uh, all right, health potion and a fireball. Oh crap. I'm seeing a problem. I see it coming. He's got three layers of death protection. I think I have to level up to fight it anymore. Uh, I don't see a choice in the matter. I would prefer not to do it. Uh, but I don't think I have a choice. I think Retaliate Fireball is going to be my bane if I don't. So, Amulet of Yendor. Full health. Which also allows me to Fireball him down. And he should be doing less damage with his retaliation every time I do it. So, retaliate fireball hurts, but not so much. One more death protection off of him. Another death protection off of him. He's got burning 14. I can just kill this zombie and he'll die. With his dying breath, the final demon lord whispers the last phrase in an ancient original ritual. Ignis Destructo Cesaria. I don't like that. Uh, the earth itself opens up and the Maw of Doom awaits you. You were too late to stop the damn ceremony, but you're not too late to destroy the being it has summoned. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab up that. And let's consider here. Uh, I've got lots of stuff. Is there anything I can get from Mystera Anor? At all. Because I remember I couldn't get any more boons from Dracul when I left. So I can get more magic. Doesn't seem necessary. I get weakening. Uh, current dungeon level only. Mystic balance doesn't really... So I should switch probably to Tiki Tuki. Because he might have some boons for me. Let's worship him. Is there anything he can offer me? Uh, dodging. That could save me. Poison could save me. Tiki's Edge could save me. I don't know what's down there. So lots of things. No, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to leave. Just gonna go downstairs with what I got. Is there anything I can get on this current level that will help me? Uh, tower shield, yeah, that'll help. 10% physical resistance. Uh, I don't have any curse stacks on me. Uh, bloody sigil, no, I don't want the decrease. Um, let's see, dwarven gauntlets might actually be a good thing. Plus 20% damage. I'm, all, I'm still at minus 10%, so. Switching that to plus 10% might be a good idea. And I've got the space in my inventory, so it won't hurt anything. All right. I'm going to go downstairs. I've kind of done the best I can. Retaliate Fireball is my only bane, and I've just dealt with it. Let's explore a little more of the dungeon. All right. I can heal up approaching this guy, at least. That's good. Uh, I've got a lot of spells. What is it going to be? Blah, 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 regards the Avatar. I know the avatar. 
Magic resist 75%, physical resist 25%, berserks, ah oh, crap, he's got crazy magic resist. That's a pain. And a half. Uh, so my magical attacks are only going to be doing what? Uh, very little damage to him. Very little indeed. Uh, let's see, it's doing 50, it was 25% of 50. It's about 15, about 15 damage to him. How much life has he got? He's got 954 life. A fireball does basically none. It does like 15 damage. 13 damage. Crap. Ah, I don't even have, I don't even have that many attacks. Um, I can hurt him significantly. I can, I can take down his, his max HP a lot. Uh, I can use lots of things. I can get lots of fireballs, but, uh, that's not helping. I've got a little bit of physical resistance going on. All right, obvious thing I need to do is this. Um... I also probably need to use a feel sick pretty liberally here. All right, so I can hit him now for that. Oh God, what just happened? A uh, bunch of enemies showed up. They're level 10. They have magic attack, magic resist, and bloodless. And they're all, oh, they're not all the same. Uh, magic resist. They're all magic resist. Uh, they're not all the same. He stayed the same. Anyway, I'm going to cast a feel sick on him. Okay, it does work. It only gives me two tiles per cast. That is not what I was looking for. Um, anyway, two tiles is not enough. Because I, I need more than that. See a feel sick more, and a feel sick more. Bring it down to that, and a fireball, which doesn't really do much damage, but it does summon a huge number of enemies for me to fight. Should I so choose? They all have magic resistance, of course. All right, the reason I did that was because I'm stupid, apparently. Uh, no, the reason I did that was because I need to hit him some with my attacks, which only do 60 damage, but I don't really have much else here. How many fireballs can I legitimately do? Is it enough? I don't think so. This is pretty crazy. So I'm going to do that, and I can regenerate and get some like regular attacks off on them, that might be ideal. Anything that I can do to boost those regular attacks is also a good thing. Biceps, for instance. Um, oh, that might be a good idea. That might work better than I think. Okay, so I'm going to explore my five more tiles. Uh, these guys all have magic resist. Now, interestingly enough, I can get a level up kill as a result of these guys, can't I? Uh, yeah, I can. I could hit this guy once, fireball him twice, and if there's another one like him, I can get a level up kill as a result of them. That's an interesting idea, as it would get me more attacks. And as much as I can re erode his magic resistance, the better. Should I take my attack now? No, get rid of his burning. So I need to do two more tiles. One, no, just one more tile. Okay, fine. All right, now I should take my attack. Just like this. And way more enemies appear. This is going to get painful for me. I can see this coming a mile away. But it reduced his, uh, it reduced his magic resist, at least. He's got physical resist reduced as well. Um, all right. So what am I using here? I'm using biceps. I'm not using I'm a wall. I'm not going to use I'm a wall for anything. And this will restore my magic. So, and give me more magic as a matter of fact. So I can I can convert I'm a wall, cast a feel sick. Several times. 
Yes. All the afeel sicking that I can do. Uh huh. All right, nine tiles of a feel sick. Maybe I shouldn't fireball them because I don't need too many of these guys showing up, and I I need all this exploration. So he is a feel sick quite a bit. How much? Uh, I've got two more tiles. He's not a feel sick that much, uh, but I'm at full health, which is good. I need to cast biceps. Um, maybe I should go after these guys instead. Magic resist. Uh, magic resist 50%. But this guy's got less health than these other guys. I should kill this guy. I really should. One hit, two fireballs will do it. And uh, that's important. So I'm going to kill him. Fireball. And fireball. For that win. Because that puts me like to a chance of more attacks through level up. That might be good. Is there anyone else with these low hit points? Yeah, this guy. He has pretty low hit points. All right. There, there, this might be possible. Probable? Not really, but possible. So I need to cast a feel sick again. That's not in doubt. Five tiles. And I could probably convert Inda's wall, though I'm scared to convert Inda's wall. Uh, I need to use biceps. And I'm going to convert into this wall. That could have been useful, is why I was thinking that, like, for getting an extra hit on someone. Uh, are you still a feel sick? You are for five tiles. So let's go ahead and get those five tiles. How much damage do you do, my friend? 81. Um, two tiles. Let me fireball you to slow you down. I don't want too many guys to appear, but... Uh, and another feel sick. Or two. Just to keep you from regenerating at all. I am so scared of all this. Alright, so I'm going to go over here. And you have five tiles left. Let's explore and get up to max health. Then I can hit this guy once and fireball him. Uh... And that would, one hit on this guy and a fireball would, in fact, level me up. That's good to know at this moment. How can I leverage this? Um, I'm not sure. I need to hit this guy, more importantly. It would give me full mana, is what it would do. And full health. Just not sure it would, it would affect too much. Um, this guy, it would ding him down to 69 resist. Not sure what to do. What to do? It wouldn't even level me up. I'd be one hit point away from level. Maybe I should just approach this guy. All right, I'm going to hit him. All right, and let's look at this now. Fireball. Fireball does still not very much damage. All right, so... There is a wall of dudes here now, which are blocking all my exploration. How much poison you got on you? Not enough. Let's put more poison on you. And put a fireball on you. And see where it goes as far as just filling in these enemies. Six tiles of exploration I can get, so I will get them. Uh, you don't have a death protection or anything. You know, you're just poisoned for 30. Oh... I need the exploration out here, and it's not giving it to me. All right, I'm going to go here. These guys are a real pain. Any of them with low hit points? No, not really. Well, this one. But he doesn't matter as much, actually. All right, so this is just... Uh, I, I need to think of this as no more exploration. That's what I should think of it as. I can get one more hit off on this guy naturally with biceps um, that's good I've gotten him down to about half health this way alright more dudes showed up of course how am I gonna get out of here if I kill this guy is my question um, okay I'm in a predicament 
The only thing I can really do from this point is fireball him. What is his magic resist? 66% still. So I'm only doing a little bit more than 30% damage with my fireballs. He does 70 damage with an attack. If I could level up, it would be one thing, but I can't. So now it's just all about the mana potions. And there are not enough in the world. There's no way. Um, I'm not going to be using a feel sick anymore. I'm not going to be using biceps anymore because I'm not going to be getting any more attacks. So before I use the mana potions on that, I need to get my help. My mana as high as possible. So these mana potions are as effective as possible. It's not going to be any more regular attacks. So I should just convert anything that's adding to my damage. Um, yep, you're converting. I need to get multiple fireballs per mana potion here. Uh, tower shield, not going to be very effective. So I convert that. So I'm at 29. These gauntlets need to be converted. Yes, that brings me to 30. It's, and the fi fine sword, convert you as well. 31. Uh, this is 20 more, actually, which is perfect. Uh, 32. All right. I'll even convert this spoon. All right. So 32 mana is as much as I can get here. Uh, I don't have much attack, but my fireballs are going to be numerous. How numerous? I think not enough because I really would need a million of them. All right. But we're trying here. And we are going to fill this room with enemies, certainly. Let's see how close we can get to finishing this guy off. We got him down to 404. And this room is literally filled with enemies now. Uh, I get three fireballs for one mana potion there. Uh, yeah. Even if it, it's really like two and a half per mana potion, though. Even if it were one. A full three per mana potion. I don't think it would be enough in the end. Yeah, I'm getting 12. Uh, yeah, this is not enough. But I'm going to get close. We're going to see how close. 500, 274. Wow. If I had kept stuff like uh, Quicksilver Potion... Um, you know what is an interesting idea? If I could level up, it would be interesting. 236, 214. These guys all have massive health. Anyone with low health near me? 144. How many? Po how many? All right, I'm gonna kill you. Because it gets. It does get me another hit. If I level up. Alright, and anyone low? 135 is the lowest. Alright, so you have 135. Three fireballs will kill you. <sighs> Alright, maybe I should have kept a lot of my stuff. Alright, for the win, especially, for instance, um... Like, I don't, I don't even know what stuff would matter. Uh, my biceps, I suppose, is what would matter. So I can get another hit off on this guy. Which brings in two more enemies. That's ridiculous. How many of these guys do I have to kill? I don't know. He's, this has only got physical resistance, though. I have to kill several of these guys to level up. Uh, which gives me another physical attack on this guy. And I need a whole ton of physical attacks on this guy to do anything. Uh, 236, 188. How many fireballs? Four. It's not a level up, though, so it's not enough. Hitting any of them is death. How many fireballs do I need? One, two million, three million, something like that. Or, like, 20 attacks. This is crazy. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to level up again. These guys are only offering 10 per. Even if I could level up again, 
I don't know what I would do with that, to be honest. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of all my stuff. I should have done the level up thing that I thought of to begin with. Uh, his poison is now gone. He, he healed a little there, which is terrible. Uh, 201, 90. I can kill this one. Nope, he's got magic resist. Nope, uh, I'm pretty sure this is it. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to do my three fireballs. He's enraged. He does all kind of damage. Yay. Uh, 84 damage. And one more. Yep, the Avatar is going to destroy the world, starting with me. You didn't win, but don't despair. You're clearly getting better. You spent 754 mana. Wow. Okay. I didn't expect to win on my first try, but uh, now I know what I'm dealing with down there. That's pretty significant. Uh, I definitely need to take biceps into that fight. I need to take health potions into that fight. And I need to take some better ideas into that fight. Okay. Um, but I think a wizard might be the thing to do it with. That might definitely be a good approach. So I'm going to exit here. I perished in the Demon demonic library as an elf wizard. It happens. All right, guys. Wow. Got a long ways to go, but... Uh